which uh, for me is, is my home. And, uh, and I also want to thank uh, uh, my friend Fuzi, uh, my brother Fuzi, for the excellent leadership uh, of uh, Moroccan football, but also for, the cont for his contributions and the contribution of uh, Moroccan football to African football. So I came today because it's the women's uh, Champions League final tomorrow, and today is the draw for the women's AFCON. Uh, the women's AFCON is going to be held in Morocco uh, next year. Uh, it is going to be the best, the most successful women's AFCON uh, in the history of African football. The, 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 the quality of, uh, of African f women's football is, uh, is, is world class. And then, of course, uh, in December next year, in December 2025 and January 2025, the whole of Africa, all of the 54 nations of Africa will be coming to, to Morocco. Uh, my uh, brother, Fuzi will be hosting uh, the whole of Africa for the uh, for the Cannes Morocco 2025, and uh, but also the world will be coming. Uh, the whole 54 countries in Africa will be here, uh, host hosted by uh, 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 my brother Fuzi, the people of uh, Morocco, and also my gratitude to His Majesty. King Mohammed the uh, Sixth, may God assist him. And also, we are always grateful and thankful. Uh, uh, there are many African football nations that uh, still don't have stadiums, and uh, and uh, but my brother is hosting them. My brother Fuzi and the people of Morocco, and, and that's why we are always grateful to uh, to His Majesty King Mohammed the Sixth. May God assist him. But, so in December next year, in January, the whole world will be coming. 2.4 billion views, uh, 2.4 billion views all over the world were watching the Afghan in, uh, in, uh, in Koruva. We expect more. Uh, we, we, Morocco is, uh, is a very special country. It's one of our most uh, tourist uh, countries in Africa. 1.4 billion people on TV, 1.4 billion, uh, were watching the AFCON in, uh, in Kuruva. We are going to have more in Morocco. 176 countries all over the world. Africa has only got 54. 176 all over the world were watching Afcon in Koruva. Uh, we are going to have more. You must also, uh, for us also it's a moment of pride because uh, Moroccan football has made history. Has made history in Qatar and uh, when Morocco uh, went to the quarterfinals, it was a moment of pride for, for all of us in Africa because it, we, we had never achieved that before. And, and Morocco is one of those few countries that we are confident will, uh, it will do very well, very, very well. Uh, I was very happy. Of course, I, as the president of KEF, I support every nation, all of them. Of course, I'll be very happy if Morocco is in the finals in 2025, <laughs> inshallah. Very, very happy because, uh, uh, because you know, to get the nation united, the nation inspired, it's, it's a moment of pride for all of us as Moroccans, but also for all of us as Africans. And uh, so, so we are focusing now on uh, 20, uh, Afcon Morocco 2025 and uh, 2026. And I'll talk later 
about the World Cup. Because in 2026, we are all going to America, which is going to be an exciting World Cup. And, uh, and we pray to Allah, because Allah has been with us when we made history in Qatar. And uh, uh, we, we are praying and hopeful that this time we'll go to the final. And uh, inshallah. And, uh, and, uh, and then, of course, 20, 2030. Exactly here. 2030 is, uh, is a moment of his, historic pride and historic achievement for the people of Morocco for the people of Africa, but also for the diaspora. I was saying to my brother, Fauzi, I was in uh, you know, Boston, America, a few days ago, and uh, a young man came to me and says, President, ah, I'm from Morocco, in Boston, in, in America. I love uh, the wonderful work that uh, your brother Fauzi is doing. I love football. I said, I love football as well. And... Uh, but it, it makes me proud because our people all over the world, uh, uh, they, they feel proud when, uh, when the Moroccan uh, national team and, and when African football is doing well. So I just, uh, I'm happy to be back home and tomorrow night I'll be going back. Uh, I, came, I flew in from Paris and then I'll be back for the draw. Uh, for the, oh, sorry, sorry, for the for the awards. Awards in Marrakesh. <laughs> I'll be back for the awards. My wife said, if you go to Marrakesh, you can't leave me behind. I'm coming with you. Merci. صحبت مساء الجمعة بمركز محمد السادس لكرة القدم بالمعمورة قرعة النسخة القادمة من نهائيات كأس أمم إفريقيا للسيدات 2025 والتي وضعت لبؤات الأطلس في المجموعة الأولى إلى جانب منتخبات قوية في القارة السمراء. وتواجد المنتخب الوطني للسيدات في المجموعة الأولى بجانب كل من زامبيا والسنغال والكونغو الديمقراطية بينما ضمت المجموعة الثانية المنتخب النيجيري والتونسي والجزائري والبوتسواني وجاء المنتخب الغاني في ثالث المجموعات إلى جانب جنوب إفريقيا ومالي وتنزانيا وستجرى نهائيات كأس أمم إفريقيا للسيدات 2025 بالمغرب خلال الفترة الممتدة ما بين 5 و 26 يوليوز 2025 مما يتيح فرصة جديدة للاحتفاء بتفوق كرة القدم النسائية الإفريقية جدير بالذكر أن منتخب جنوب إفريقيا هو حامل اللقب وتوج بالنسخة السابقة التي أقيمت على الأراضي المغربية في 2022 إذا أعجبكم محتوى هذا الفيديو لا تدخلوا علينا بإعجاباتكم وتعليقاتكم المشجعة ولا تنسوا متابعة قناتنا لمزيد من الأخبار يمكنكم في أي وقت اقتراح مواضيع ترغبون مشاهدتها على القناة شكرا لكم وإلى فيديو قادم إن شاء الله